Friends, I'll be uh, deriving the expression for work done by single stage reciprocating compressor with clearance volume. First, let us look at the graph here. This is the inlet pressure, that is the suction pressure, and this is the delivery pressure P2. This is the suction process, this is the uh, compression process, discharge process, and the expansion process. For work done by the reciprocating compressor, we need to find out the area under the curve or we need to find out the area of uh, this one 1, 2, 3 and 4 the area, this uh, shaded area this is the work done on the compressor so to find out that uh, what we do is first we, we should find out the area of A, 1, 2, B and subtract A, 4, 3, B from A, 1, 2, B so when we subtract this from this whole thing we get the area of 1 2 3 4 so a 1 2 b minus a 4 3 b and there are few points we need to remember in this graph uh, this this here v c or v 3 it is the clearance volume and v 1 minus v 4 is the actual volume that is the actual volume of air that is sucked in by the compressor and uh, Till V1 till V3 is the swept volume, that is the volume swept by the piston inside the cylinder. Okay, now coming to the expression, a area A1 to B minus A4 3 B. Uh, what is the area of, uh, under the curve for A1 to B? That is uh, work done by a compressor without clearance volume. That is given by N into N minus 1 into P1 V1, this one. P1 V1 into P2 by P1 to the power N minus 1 by N minus 1. If uh, the, I have derived the expression for this in my previous videos, you can go check it out. But uh, this is the expression for work done on a compressor without clearance volume. So here there is no clearance volume when we consider this whole area. So that is given by n into n minus 1 into p1 v1 into p2 by p1 to the power n minus 1 by n minus 1. And there are few th other few things we need to remember is p4 is equal to p1 and p3 equal to p2. And the curve. 1 to, 1 to 2 is equal to 3 to 4 the, these both curves are polytropic curves so these are uh, the two assumptions that we make and uh, the next area we need to we need to subtract a 4 3 b that is that is given by n by n minus 1 into p 4 v 4 we always write the initial pressure first that is p 4 v 4 in this curve and p 1 v 1 in this curve so p 4 v 4 into and uh, P2 by P1 here, that is the, P2 is the larger pressure, the delivery pressure and here P3 by P4, the power N minus 1 by N minus 1. Now further simplifying, we know that P4 is nothing but P1 and P3 is nothing but P2. So we write this expression as it is, the uh, area of A1 to B, it remains same. But when we come here, we uh, replace P4 by P1 and uh, P3 by P2. So this becomes N, N by N minus 1 into P4 becomes P1 and P4 into P2 by P1 P3 gets replaced by P2 to the power n minus 1 by n minus 1 uh, minus 1 is not here, it is here now we have a common factor of n by n minus 1 and uh, P2 by P1 to the power n minus 1 by n minus 1 so we remove that common factor and what remains is uh, when we remove this and this common factor, we remain with P1 into V1 minus of V4. So we, we get this P1 into V1 minus of V4. What is V1 minus V4? V1 minus V4. So V1 minus V4 is nothing but the actual volume, that is the volume of air that is sucked in by the compressor. So what work done by a compressor with clearance volume is N into N minus 1 into P1. VA, V1 minus V4 becomes actual volume into P2 by P1 uh, that is the delivery pressure and the suction pressure uh, to the power N minus 1 by N minus, this is not minus 1 here, minus 1 here so what do we learn from this expression? we learn that even though the clearance, there is clearance volume present in the compressor it does not affect the actual work done on the compressor there is no change in the work done on the compressor even if there is clearance volume with clearance volume or without clearance volume clearance volume gets in without or uh, there is no way to uh, what uh, remove clearance volume in the compressor so that way uh, 
this is the work expression for work done